Hello, hello, lads and girls. This is Load Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of PC Building Simulator. All right, so got a new PC to build. For Shaky B. So I guess we should just get right into this one. I kind of wonder how I want to do this, though. Because uh, part of me kind of want to um, put the AIO in the front. Okay, let's put in the motherboard and go from there. only a single graphics card this too so let's start off with that M.2 drive and let's put a CPU in there 9900k maybe a little bit of RAM Like thirty two gigs. Okay, now then, let's see how I can do with this cooler. Okay, that is quite nice. But can I? Okay, I can only fit two of these now. Well, I still guess that is better though. <laughs> well, I will still get the same amount of fans. And let's see, from the look of it, those are going to blow air out. Well, it looks like all of these are going to blow air out. Just so, we got a problem. I still wish you could set whether it would be intake or... Uh, well... In which direction they would actually... Push the air. Alright. Uh, enough diddle daddling. Um, graphics card. 3090. Yeah, I've <laughs> got over 500 bucks left, and all that needs doing is putting in a power supply. Okay. I guess that works. Strange. All right. Um, I'm not gonna complain.
Let's see, I don't think we need that dust filter anymore. Uh, let's put the front panel on, looking great. Alright, cool. Let's get in and let's install then uh, try doing some light overclocking. I feel like that would be nice. Okay, so I still feel like this should do 5.2 and let's go to 1.55 volts. Unlock the RAM. And here we go. Alright, let's get our software. And there we go. Okay, it seems to be running a little toasty. Guess I'll need to push this one back a little. Okay, let's try that. 5.1 gigahertz. I mean, that's still good. Okay, that looks like it'd be fine. Okay, so it crashed. I guess... Didn't have enough power then. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Okay, so it's hitting 90. Okay, let's go for 150. Okay, that looks good. Let's jump up to 200. Okay, we're still good. How about 250? Okay, I feel like I'm getting closer. I'm gonna try for 300. Okay, so that was too much. So somewhere between 290 and 300 is our sweet spot. So let's bring you down to 91. All right, let's see. Mm. There we go. Okay, so uh, 297. I mean, not bad. Sure, let's let's put them all into rainbow. I mean, there is still that orange on the 
motherboard that you can't do much about though. That's kind of the downside to go and get a tough board. Otherwise, the tough boards are really good. Affordable and decent. Alright, let's see. Guess we should try and get a score. One thing I kind of forgot to look into last time was if I got any any bids. I got some bids on these graphics cards. Pretty low ones though. I mean, there is uh, still four days left, so I'm probably going to get out there. I'll probably get more from them by doing this rather than uh, just selling them in my inventory. At least that's the way I feel about it. And I'm pretty sure it's accurate. Well, the only thing that kind of sucks now is you can't see anything from this side. It's all in the case. Alright. I feel like you should be done any minute now. That looks great, though. Yeah, 15,912. And what was it I needed? I needed 10,352. So, kind of overshot quite a bit. Okay, uh, I'm happy. Okay, let's have a look at you. Um, let's collect for this. The new PC rocks, thank you very much. Alright, so. Uh, plastic, uh, green, white and black cables, and you had a broken motherboard. Okay, so... Let's see, I know it was black, green and white, right? Green, white and black. Uh, I'm just gonna... I mean, I could have wrote it up, but... Green, white, black. Green, white, black. Yes, indeed. Okay, so a X299. The hell did I forget to order one? God damn it, I ordered an EATX. God damn it. Okay, uh, motherboard. Oh, um. It needs to be an Asus. 
and the form factor needs to be SATX. Same day delivery, thank you. All right, this should go a bit better. Do this in the right order too. Stick around. A little bit of thermal goop. Cooler. Then we need the graphics card. I'm just gonna make sure that the RAM is running it as it should. Oh, this has a normal hard drive. Okay, I don't feel like messing around with that. Well, you only asked about ASUS and those specific cables, so. I'd say we're pretty much done. Nice! A PC died for no reason, but they fixed it. And they gave me lovely new plastic green, white, or black cables. Nice. Okay, so with that, I think I'm gonna end off this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Until then. Bye-bye.